guess what we're going to talk about next, Alan? Andor. All right, let's just do like a check-in because part of the problem with the show that I had with it, I stopped watching it. I stopped mm-hmm. watching it um, after the big heist. Um, I think I watched one more episode after that, but it's it's the pacing is too slow for me. Yeah. Uh, look, you're, if this if this is the kind of pacing, you have to have something happen. Maybe it should have been fewer episodes or whatever. I just I I, I the, the pacing has lost me. I've heard people say, no, no, you got to watch it. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Andor is getting really good. And yeah, uh, I mean, I'll say this. It you know, at, so we're post heist at this point. I think that's where we're at. And I'll and I'll be honest. I had knowing that you and I were going to watch this, talk about it today. I I had to binge it. Uh, and then now knowing that you didn't do that uh, kind of upsets me. <laughs> <laughs> so I did binge it. So I'm sure there's little minor details in the story that, that I'm leaving out. But um, regarding Andor post heist, you know, yeah. Uh, okay, so l- let's talk about the pacing of the, of the show. Yeah, it's a slow pace, but I kind of, I kind of I, I kinda like it. Um, you know, I think you, this is a show you do need to kind of sit down just kind of watch and, and digest, which is, you know, I guess something that, you know, I think my parents did that with old, you know, great, was it uh, great masterpieces or great performances, masterpiece theater, you know, it's kind of has that vibe where, yeah, we're allowing the story to kind of breathe and stretch out rather than being this kind of all action all the time. Um, and, and I think that really sets it apart from, and, and this is not a, you know, this is not an action television show. In the sense of, you know, I guess Glenuccio and I were talking about it earlier. You know, th- there was a, a moment in the first episode where a woman is is surrounded and it looks like she's going to get beaten up. Uh, and then she gets beaten up. You know, that's, you know, she doesn't all of a sudden gain powers and abilities to, to take down the bad guys. It just plays out as it naturally will. And and that's kind of how this show is playing out. It's, you know, it's it's trying to be very real. Like, what what is life like? Uh when the as the empire is starting to take over and what we learn is in the heist right after the heist happens the empire is pissed off and the empire says all right that's it we're clamping down we're taking over and that's and now everyone is scrambling like like mice trying to figure out you know what is their role how, you know how much of their head are they going to have to uh, stick out or you know how much do they um you know do they hide their true motivations uh, of trying to you know fuel a rebellion um and then and it's happening on both sides you know you realize that they're getting more serious about eliminating the bureaucracy and and weeding out the rebel rebel the rebels uh and so that's where we're at now and uh so from the heist to episode 10 uh andor is mistakenly arrested uh He's, he has a different identity. He's mistakenly arrested and he's thrown in prison for six years of hard labor. Uh, and, and that's where we meet Andy Serkis's character, um, which is not Snoke. Um, and, uh, you know, and so if you've seen it up until this point, um, you know, a- Andor is in a prison full of, uh, of, of people who were basically... Uh, not criminals, but basically uh, abducted by the Empire, thrown false charges upon them, and now forced into into work labor camps, and uh, and uh, and we find some things out about their fates, all these people' fates that that turns into a kind of a, a prison riot, and um, and uh, I'm I'm really enjoying it now. Now that I've actually sat down and been able to watch this it's like okay yeah it's a slow burn but it's mm-hmm. it's pretty exciting and the, and the way in which uh him and and andy circus's character kind of uh fuels his prison break is uh yeah. is done in a way that that's uh that's really good storytelling and again you know it's sad that you have to compare the show to kenobi uh and to the other um disney stories because the dialogue uh just kind of the ideas behind the plots uh, is 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 just you know is a breath of fresh air in terms of a Star Wars story, and again you know we're, there's no force there's no you know the only reminders you have are uh, the droids the the starships you know when an, an Imperial Star Cruiser flies overhead you know you kind of feel the weight of that, uh, and so now we're getting into a lot of political intrigue with Mon Mothma and so yeah uh, 
you know, I, I think the only fault of this movie is the fact or of this show that is the fact that it is a slow burn and the pacing kind of plods along a bit. But but they are really they are developing characters, uh, developing plots at that point. And and I, you know, it's it's just sad that it has to be a Star Wars show, and it's sad that uh, it is not only a Star Wars show but in one that you associate with action, uh, with fights, uh, you know, with uh, you know the 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 cliffhanger type type story and that's not what you're getting here hmm i i i'll say this i'm kind of unconvinced i'm unconvinced alan i mean you just kind of service combo when we rumble it's a catastrophe on anybody who's trying to hate coming blasting me i've been in this for a minute see how i graduated from rookie to beginner but now i'm winning on the road backing up and selling our shows but let's be on the tape of it and let them all know who, who, who. i'm gay really gay i'm super duper gay i'm gay Alan, I'm just I, I'm just not sure about um I'm not convinced, but I will watch it. We'll we'll yeah. do a season finale review once it uh, but I, I thought it was over and apparently it's still going. Yeah, it's got two more episodes. Oh. It, this is uh, yeah, it, it's you know it's it's kind of it's good in, in spite of itself. You know, I, I don't know that if if I wasn't it more or less forced to watch it for for the live stream here that I would be watching it but now that I am you know I you know there's there's enough good in it to make me want to keep going in it I, I'm not sure that I would give it glowing reviews that you have to see this but it is certainly the best thing on Disney plus at the moment This is the best thing on Disney Plus at the moment. Like, look, I'll, I'll yeah. say this: if I didn't like have subscribed like two years ago, I don't know. I think your dog needs a treat. Yeah, I, I know. Your dog needs yeah, a this treat. is not House of the Dragons. <laughs> it's not House of the Dragons quality, but it is the best thing on Disney Plus, and it is. And if you're willing to go on the adventure, um, you know, I think you're gonna have a good time. But uh, I can totally understand why people aren't watching this. Well, I don't. Believe you, but I uh, I will watch it so that we can do a series, a mm -hmm. season finale uh, review, and we'll do that uh, in a couple weeks once it wraps up. We'll probably yeah. do that on our Wednesday. Yeah, show. I mean, like here he's in prison. I mean, this whole s sequence is is what's really you know drawn me to the series at the moment. 